Do you think that the outcome of the referendum would have been different if 16 and 17 year olds could have voted? Um, almost certainly yes. Um, all the evidence is that the younger people were, the more they were inclined to vote for staying in the European Union and that older people were more inclined to vote to leave and that if the 16 and 17 year old tranche of the population had had the vote, which is what the Labour Party argued for, um, then it would have made a difference because at the end of the day it was very close. It was you know, 48 to 52 percent. There was a, a relatively small um, club. I mean, it's not, it wouldn't be the case that all young people would have voted um, to stay, but the majority would have done and it could have swung it. Um, and so I think it's a great shame that young people aged 16 and 17 didn't have the vote. They've got, all things being equal, the longest future ahead of them. Whereas the old, you know, people over 80 um, who voted to leave the European Union, you know, the demographics are such that they don't have much of a life in front of them at the end of their lives. So they've taken the decision and then will be gone, leaving young people to deal with what many of us think will be rather a mess. Um, and that seems unfair, but we didn't get, we lost that argument. Um, and uh, we're in the situation we're now in.